and it's going to be, we dodged the rain today for the most part, by the way, downtown, but other parts of central Ohio, not so much. 76 and 66, so for the whole day, the temperature only ranged a grand total of 10 degrees. That's certainly a reflection of a very muggy atmosphere, and you can just feel it suddenly gotten soupy out there on our Schottenstein uh, roofing tower camera view. A little bit of fog starting to form as well, but we are drying out 67, south wind at 10. And these are the storms that notice clipped uh, the southeastern and uh, central portions of Franklin County, but kind of avoided areas farther west. Most of this is quieted down. That is just moisture in the air. Still a pretty strong cell that's now moved over past uh, Portsmouth and Ironton and a lone cell to the north and east of Coshocton. But notice this cold front with storms firing up west of Indianapolis. So that will push in later on tonight. So we may get some rumbles of thunder between about 3 and 6 in the morning, and then that will start to weaken. But the problem is we're kind of stuck in this west southwesterly flow aloft, low-level uh, flow out of the Gulf. The dry air simply can't make it down. We'll dry up briefly, I think, on Monday. Notice even a marginal or one out of five risk for damaging winds with any storms that fire up again tomorrow afternoon. So clouds linger. It's a humid night, some fog, but overall not much will change in this pattern in the coming week. Temperatures right now just kind of staying put in the middle to upper 60, 64 Mount Vernon, 67 Columbus. Not a whole lot of range here. We'll only go down a few more degrees for the rest of the night. So we have the scattered showers. They move off. And then we'll see a dissipating line of showers and storms get to about I-71 at daybreak. So a shower possible early, but here's the key to tomorrow. At lunchtime, a little bit of heating. We start to get instability and bubble up a couple of stray showers. And then that gets better organized in the afternoon east of I-71. A line of showers and a few thunderstorms with heavy downpours and a slight chance of some strong winds. That will push out after sunset. And then heading into Monday, We'll start to see drier air work down from the north. Notice uh, some clearing and temperatures will be a little more pleasant on Monday and the humidity will come down, but only briefly. That front's going to get hung up and come back north on Tuesday and Wednesday. So 64 clouds and sticky, a late night shower or storm for some of us. And then look for storms to develop near and east of I-71 tomorrow afternoon uh, with that cold front. Uh, which is very weak, but it will cool us down a little bit on Monday to 74 and drop our rain chances. But then rain chances come right back up Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday as a couple of systems pivot out of the west. Showers and storms, not all day rains, and favoring the warmer part of the day. We'll cool down next weekend. Can't even take showers out of the forecast next Friday and Saturday. Typical May for Central Ohio.